The New England Revolution are unbeaten after three matches, and they can move to the top of the Eastern Conference with a win tonight. A 1-1 draw last game against New Club Portland left New England with five points and a continuing belief in the changes going on with the team. Tonight, they match up with another league debutante as the Revs go to British Columbia to take on the Vancouver Whitecaps. Vancouver have one win in three games, but they fought back from a 3-0 deficit in their last match to grab an exciting draw. It's an East-West battle next on Comcast Sports Day. DJ Swords and Ryan Cochran are the center backs. Pat Phelan has been just a, a hard work the entire three games he's played so far. I really like the way he's committed. All up top here with Camillo is going to be Atiba Harris. He has two goals and three assists so far. The Revs in Vancouver for the first time ever. Three of the major comebacks in uh, MLS history. We'll talk about that more going forward. For now, this is a tough midweek game. The Revs flying cross country through Dallas, getting in late and two nights ago. Got to train on this field, as I said, and they're set to go here in their blue uniforms. The referee, once again, for the second time, fourth game. Four games is Valdemaro Toledo. And it's angled forward by Jonathan Leathers, a former Kansas City player. Tiva Harris on the chase, and the rookie A.J. Soares plays it safely into the stands. Hawthorne got that well before it got to the line, but a good, powerful header. Oh, and then another shot. Yep. Red card. There's Sean Kofi, took out Pat Phelan, who's already wearing the headgear. Straight red card. Replay, Pat Phelan's going up. Well, he was looking at the ball, but he had the arms up. What do you think, Jay? Was he trying to... No, you know what? In second look, it looks like he's just going up fair. He, he leads with the elbow, yeah, Pat Phelan. Yeah, for that angle, he lashes out with it a little it, bit. It, lash out maybe a little bit. He doesn't really want... It's not like one of those where he's intentionally going to... Taking him out. Yeah, in real time, it looked vicious, but I agree with you on it. Osley gets the benefit of the referee's whistle after that tangle with Alston, who's down on the ground in pain. And Kevin's battling in there, and then the elbow goes oh. up, catches him. It well, initially he pointed towards the, re the Revs' goal, correct? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a he it's gave a free, the foul. It's, it's a free kick against the Revolution but for Vancouver, but he gives a yellow card for the elbow and the contact from Osley there on Kevin Alston's face. See, there's a good ball from Atiba Harris. It looks like it's intentionally intended for it. And look, Zach Boggs just gets away, caught up. But the ball's away, Jay. The ball is away here. Let's see Zach Boggs in the position here. It seems like he's taking a run at it there. No way he's getting to that ball. He, he, he did touch him with the arm. Oh, Bobby Shuttleworth faces his first penalty in league play this season against big Eric Osley. The run up. And it's into the net. one nothing, Vancouver. Yeah, he's gone. Second yellow should be gone. Yep, Toledo's going to give it to him. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe this? Yes, I can. Can you believe this? Eric Osley just got sent off. A red card. Unbelievable. Uh, he, Jay, he took his is it off. correct to say that as a player you've got to know better? Here's a goal. Well taken penalty. Great penalty. Class. But he doesn't even think about it. He goes right to the jersey and he takes off. See how it's the exact jersey underneath? I thought it was to expose, and I, I, I want to know the letter of the law on that one. Is it? I know you think a lot of him, Jay, uh, as a team guy. He's, he's one of the greatest uh, teammates I've had because he, he's always thinking about the guys around him. He's great in the locker room. Very good to, for younger guys to bounce things off of, and, and he puts himself in a good position and, and, and a leader for Steve Nichol. There's a red car coming. A.J. Soares is off. I'm going to see here. I want to get a good look. Here's a good build-up play. Atiba Harris comes in, and A.J. Storage is trying to get to this ball. Yeah, he's just a... Yeah, no, no red card. Over the top from Baudelaire Toledo. Not over the top of the ball. No, I mean, over the no, top. No, no, no. And, and Atiba Harris isn't even going to get to that ball. But you're Steve Nichol, though. You're going to want Chris Tierney to take this instead of Kenny Montali. This is Chris Tierney's range. We have Marco Perovich. That's your number one. But number two is Chris Tierney. And he's back in the match. And a good spot here. No doubt about it. It's going to be Tierney. Can he get this up and down? Well, he did, but a smart save. Jay Nolly 
right at the near post corner, carrying it away. The Revs now at their eighth corner kick. Good bid there by Tierney, the substitute for the Revs. Free kick here. That's everything you want, but Jay Nolly's there. Good play from Jay Nolly. Reads it well, but strike from Chris Tierney. Gets it up and down. Two good plays. Balin wide. But Kenny Men solid. Running at Wagner. Zigzags. Finds Joseph. Now Tierney. His delivery to the back post. Stolitz is there. Heads it. Into the goal. 1-1. One, one, the Revs. Oh, wow. Offside. Wow. Offside. I was... It went on... It went, they, this is the build-up still. You still have one defender. Stolitz, he's uh, onside. Stolitz is onside. And you know what? It looks like he's a, his arm is his just arm, ahead. Yeah, it looks like he's just a shade offside. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a close one. It's not certainly not following the directive to give the benefit to the attacking. Can the Reds get a tying goal? They thought they had one in minute 86. Phelan angles in. Solosky's there. The knockdown. Stolitz to shoot. <laughs> this time it's good. 1-1. One, one, no flag. The Whitecaps players drop to the ground in disbelief, and the Reds are going to fish that ball out of the net. They want to win, Jay. They sure do. I like this going forward. In the box, get some opportunities to score. Here it is, Pat Thalen. Good look at it. Look at Zach Shalosky. That's well done and taken down and finished like a striker's supposed to. Now the Reds have it. We'll take another look at the replay here. Uh, that is a decisive finish. This is Harris. Kevin Harms, Thorrington, they're over four minutes here, they may add more because of the goal, Mansali digs it out, ooh, slide tackle there by Thorrington, free kick New England. Res need to launch this long, well, they won't have time, Toledo adds 15 seconds for the goal that was scored, so no opportunity for a winner. Both teams are going to have beef with the ref. That was intended for Shari Joseph, but the Reds get another corner, the second of the game, as scoring to put it over the byline. And Zach Bob's able to deliver again. You can see Jay Nolly trying to keep his troops sharp. Cochran forward, Soares forward, Phelan in the box, Joseph and McCarthy, big targets at the back post. Outswinger from Box. Oh, McCarthy heads it, cleared off the line, still loose. Nolly gets a punch on it, and the Reds nearly had a goal there. Then Camillo wiped out a Reds player who is really struggling after that collision. It's Pat Phelan. His headgear is off. Now Camillo goes down. Look at this. Here's the head ball. Zach, Mc excuse me, goes up high. What a play there. Kalfan clears up the line. That was Stephen McCarthy. Excuse me. Excellent play. That's why you put a player on the back post, and what a good read from the, from the midfielder there, and that ball goes up. Good play. Now here's the play here. Here's Phelan coming in on Camilla, and the two of them just go up, and that's just a hard collision. Oh, and then and then the foot yeah, comes over. I, that's look at that's.